Okay, so um, I'm here with Kat and we're going to talk about project based learning. Now the difference is in this conversation, Kat's in the Philippines, and we yeah. typically or right now I typically do interviews with those in the States and so this is going to take a little bit of a, a different twist. And so with that Kat are you ready to get going. Sure, I am. Yeah. Let's okay. Go. So based on our uh, talk already, you said that your, your teaching experience has actually included a lot of different grades from from early on in the kindergarten to I guess five or sixth grade and maybe even even some yeah. high school. And I know one of the things that you wanted to talk to me about was how did you structure, you know, project based learning content or project-based learning process at the younger age, you know, kindergarten and, and in that age group. So how does that look like? For me, well, I'm a mother as well. So I have three children. So before I would do like any lesson plan, even when I was in a traditional school, I'd try to inject project-based learning in their sense. You know, you, you're in a traditional school, you have to follow their curriculum. But what I did was I would do like, you know, like free play within them or like imagination. And they'd be like given just mm, questions in kindergarten. So you have to go at their level. And like for my kindergarten kid, he was uh, my first eldest. He was in kindergarten at that time. I teach him different from the traditional sense when he was just with me. So, for example, we talk about if their lesson in science, what's that say? Volcanoes. So we'd, we'd be like, oh, let's make a science experiment. So we do the, you know, the, the clay, we, we just little things like their gross motor skills and their fine motor skills of rolling clay and then shaping it into a volcano and then with a bottle inside and, you know, the, the, a volcanic eruption. And it would be like, oh, that's so cool, mom. I didn't know it would go like that. So <laughs> he would see it and then it would be like, okay, that's what you're supposed to see because it's so different from the textbook, right? You'd see a picture. So we do like a project on the side. We, and then I'd be the one to guide him. It's more of just him taking control and just saying, oh, if I put this mixture, it will explode. And then I'd try to connect it into, okay, this is magma and this is lava and this is your lesson. Because I think for my, my, my kids specifically, when I was teaching them, I would have to show them, you know, it, it, their imagination and their curiosity is so high at that stage, which is why I really enjoy teaching the higher at the lower levels rather, because they have like they have questions that are out of this world. My daughter, she was like four year old. We watched Inside Out and she asked me something I never even thought of. She said, Mommy, why is sadness sad? And I'm like, OK, wow, that's really <laughs> at four. I said, I, I don't know either. I just, you know, as an adult, your, your structure is what I see. That's it. But my daughter was asking a philosophical question at four years old. And I was like, OK, I'll, I'll get into it. And we would we'd make a project of it. And we'd talk about emotions. And then we'd talk about, you know, like for me as an adult, I'd be like, I want to be the one to show them that if they express their emotions, it's good even if it's like the frustration and it's the anger. So with project-based learning, even when I was in traditional schools, I'd make it a point that I'd stay in the curriculum, but I'd make them, you know, do things with their hands, do things for them to wonder and to question. And when you stop and think about the kinds of questions, kindergartners, grade one, grade two, all those younger kids, they have really, they have really good questions. And I think as an educator, one thing you can take away is you don't dismiss right away what they say. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it's like, why is sadness sad? <laughs> I, I don't know. When you were watching Inside Out, were you even thinking about that? I, I For me, I was just like, okay, that's sadness. But for my daughter, she was thinking of something else. And so even until now, they're, they're, um, my kids are 11, 9, and 2 years old. So I'd make, you know, it's summertime here in the Philippines. We do projects. We have arts and crafts. And I try and keep them busy. You know, there's Generation Z always on their phone. <laughs> I'm, guilt I'm guilty too. <laughs> I like being on my phone and watching and all those things. But I have to make it a point. I'm an educator. I'm a wife. I'm a mother. So I put into that role all the time. So, you know, when, when I talk about like teaching, because I teach some moms here in the Philippines how to teach their younger kids. Because it's a struggle with this whole pandemic. We're always here. 
Well, I, I guess you're more free in the states. You, your guys are able to go out already, right? But somewhat, yeah. Uh, we our restrictions yeah. have been uh, have been lessened, but uh, 